Okay, and now that we've finished the modeling of the permanent magnet with a screw of 45 degrees, um, now we are going to take care of the mesh operation and we are going to do two operations, define two operations in order to make sure that the mesh um, operation is going to be successful. These two are going to be length uh, based mesh operation. We want to make sure that we are applying the right um, characteristics and the maximum length for the elements for this uh, operation and also we want to make sure that the uh, surface approximation for the mesh is set correctly so let's go ahead and do these two parts uh, while we have the S uh, control key pressed and hold we want to select north 1, north 2, south 1 and south 2 since these are the ones that are screwed and is uh, a bit like all connected to each other very really tightly so we select this four and then we will go to the Maxwell 3D and under that you will select the mesh operation in the mesh op operation you go for the assign and inside that you go for the inside selections and in that we select the length base and we will make sure that we can we can put a name for that so we can call insight and uh, for when it comes to um, the restriction for the length of the elements make sure that this uh, restriction is applied so it's checked here in this case and uh, for the maximum uh, length of the elements uh, you can put uh, a bit lower number for example you can say five millimeters uh, which makes it um, you know uh, makes it that the mesh are going to be not bigger than the five so between these two points we can actually pay six uh, millimeters or you can put it like six and a half millimeters so uh, basically we are making sure that the maximum length of the elements is not going to be more than 6.5 millimeters okay and um, now everything is fine just press ok on that uh, while again we are selecting the, the, the four um, south and the north poles that we just created we again go to the modeler and uh, Maxwell 3D I'm sorry and uh, again we will uh, go to the mesh operation and uh, to the assign and this time we go to the surface approximation in this case we want to make sure that um, we can call it the surface for example and that's what we have and we want to make sure that the maximum surface normal deviation uh, is n is going to be set uh, to um, 15 is a bit too high, uh, so we can make it actually three degrees. Uh, and now uh, this is a bit better because this is 45 degrees, and we want to give it more uh, resolution for the normal deviations. So that uh, so that should take care of that. And we just press OK. Okay. So these two simple operations are going to uh, help us a lot in the mesh uh, design so it's so the mesh, mesh operation before the simulator is going to render the entire circuit or model um, so you can see the mesh operations here inside and surface you can change it if you want uh, right click on the analysis and as always add a solution and when you're doing the solution actually one thing you want to check is the percentage of error so um, if you go here the percentage of error is one percent if you want to have a faster simulation result and you don't care that much about the accuracy you can put it two three four five percent so it's going to be faster to actually reach to the point uh, if you need even more accuracy you can make it less so for example we can put it for like point one percent or point two percent or point three percent and in that case you will get a better result and when it's done um, also when it comes to the coverage you want to make sure that your coverage is uh, refined per pass is like 30% uh, you can go and make more refine more refinement per path per pass but the thing is when you put it more you actually uh, putting too much accuracy once and might be not even needed so you can make it less then you have more number of passes so uh, basically it's, it's it's up to you how you are going to um, find what is the best solution for that okay so now I'm gonna go and press OK and create the setup here and um, so if I go and check 
everything should be fine as it's shown here so everything is fine and hopefully you will get the same check marks uh, all green check marks and that would be our uh, way to start the simulations I'm gonna start the simulation and end this tutorial by running the simulations and uh, we'll come back when it comes to the results